Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode in our blockchain in lending sessions. We've had a great series so far. There's been some really good feedback and some really interesting topics discussed and we have a really great panel um, of webinars presented today. We're going to be talking about a lot of topics ranging from, again, a brief intro into blockchain and where is the, the distinction compared to the crypto-esque uh, industry, specifically the likes of Bitcoin. Where are we on the lending ecosystem? How does the blockchain contribute to lending? A number of key benefits and use cases. And finally, Q&A. Um, and at this point, we do encourage all of you to continue giving us all your feedback together with questions you want to ask our, our highly talented and experienced panel. And please do join the conversation. We'll be more than happy to uh, introduce and indeed support and answer any questions you have. My name is Julian. I'm an SVP here at Bright Talk. I'm also a blockchain in investor and have a number of different experiences in the fintech but also online gaming um, industry, particularly with regards to asset management and also tech on the e-commerce side. We also have Hugh, who is our CTO in uh, Blockchain Tech Limited, Joanna, who is a global head of lending at Mysis, Kush Patel, who is CEO at Tally6, and Taylor, who is Director of Technology at Ethereum as well. There's a number of interesting topics we're going to get to today. We have uh, an hour to get through them, so quickly, let me pass the button to Hugh to kick off with uh, his presentation. Hugh, over to you. Hi, so just uh, want to start with a little background about myself. I've been in the blockchain space for four years now, initially co-founding a Bitcoin brokerage uh, and running a Bitcoin ATM in London with my brother Guy. Uh, we're now looking at several aspects of the technology and currently launching Zapcash, our money transfer network that settles international payments over a blockchain and also working with large companies and banks to deploy various applications and their businesses. Uh, today, I just want to give you, uh, I want to start with an introduction to blockchains and explain how they really work. Uh, don't worry, I won't get too technical, um, and then we'll move on to some of the opportunities in lending. Uh, blockchains really enable trustless exchange of assets without a central party, and this is something that was simply not possible before and it enables a range of opportunities and, and cost savings across various industries. Um, so what is a blockchain? Um, <coughs> a blockchain is literally a chain of blocks and each block uh, is, uh, has a pointer to the previous block. Modifying any block uh, breaks the chain and in its essence this ensures that historical data cannot be tampered with without changing the state of the system which means that everybody knows about it. In each block, there is a set of transactions or data which has been appended uh, to the ledger and blocks of data are appended to the ledger at set time intervals. For Bitcoin, this is 10 minutes. Uh, for private blockchains, this can be around 10 seconds. It's modifiable. Um, Bitcoin uh, is uh, really the first application of blockchain technology as, uh, as a money type token it enables direct transfer of bitcoins of a token of value from one party to another and the bitcoin protocol includes a simple programming language enabling users to send x amount of bitcoin from person a to person b it does go a little bit beyond this uh, it enables uh, storage of very small amounts of data and enables multi-sig payments which means more than one party uh, has to sign off on a transaction for example, if you had a, a joint account uh, or if you had several people need to sign off on a corporate payment. Bitcoin, like private blockchains, keep a perfect uh, audit trail of all transactions on a public distributed ledger. Uh, that said, Bitcoin is, uh, uh, Bitcoin is money is just another asset. On smart contract enabled blockchains, there's a lot more you can play with. Uh, Ethereum is really the company that took, or the group that took blockchains a step further and created the idea of smart contracts. Um, smart contracts take blockchains and apply general purpose computation to them. This means that we're no longer limited uh, to transferring tokens from one user to another. Far, far more complex computations can be done and this enables uh, a whole range of applications that can be built. 
So most of the projects you hear about with banks or large corporations investigating blockchain technology are really around what they can build as smart contracts and where they can apply this technology. So I hope this was a useful introduction and I'll hand you over to Joanne.